Next, let's talk a little bit about formatting your paragraphs. So um, I'm going to go in here and uh, highlight the paragraph by triple clicking on it. Okay. Now, uh, here's a couple of real useful icons right over here. This is going to decrease the indent, and this is going to increase the indent. Watch what, I, watch what happens when I click on that. Notice how it moves the whole paragraph. It, it indents the whole paragraph in. So that's much easier uh, than doing tabs or spaces or something like that. And then if you want to decrease the indent, you can use this icon over here. So this is increase the indent, and this is decrease the indent, as we can see. Now, uh, besides that, uh, we can do what we call a hanging indent uh, in this way. All right, notice on the paragraph, if you look on the ruler, uh, you have these three icons. So the top icon is going to control the first line only. Look at the paragraph. I'm going to use this icon, and then you drag it. And notice how only the first line uh, indent it. Okay? So notice as I move this around, only the first line is changing. The other lines still have the same indent. Now, here's how we do a, a hanging indent. If we use this uh, second icon, that'll change the indent for the rest of the paragraph. So I'm going to click on this and then move it over. Notice how the first line didn't move, but the rest of the lines did indent. We call that a hanging indent. Uh, so now you know how to do that. I clicked on the wrong icon there. Uh, so I'm just going to move that. And notice how the other lines in the paragraph move, but, um, I, but the first line does not move. We call that a hanging indent. Now the bottom icon will move the whole paragraph over. So I'm going to go to this bottom one. And if I move that, notice how everything moved over now. The hanging indent is still there, but everything is moving over as it needs to. So those are uh, a couple ways to format your paragraphs. Now, uh, if you're used to, uh, if you want to make something single spaced and double spaced, here's where we can do that. Uh, you're going to pick on this icon right over here, the line spacing. Then, if you notice, we can make it single spaced, double spaced. If you want more options than that, pick on line spacing options. And here. Uh, this actually brings you to a screen that we used to get where we would pick on format and then paragraph. And that's how you get the same kind of screen here. So um, when you're talking about your line spacing, sometimes you have spaces before or after a paragraph. So if you look over here, if that's the case, you want to make sure that these are both zero. And then over here, you want to make sure it's single space. But this is also where you change it to double space. All right. so. This, these are going to be important for you as far as formatting your paragraph. Uh, you can get to that same menu if you follow my mouse over here. You're going to click on this arrow next to the word paragraph, and that can get you to the same menu. And uh, now here we have left justified. Right justified is going to move it over to the right. Or actually, this one was centered. That's centered this is across the page. This is right justify. Notice how now the, the, the right margin is justified. And now this one will make both the left and the right margin justified, as we can see. Uh, so it, it happened on this side, and it happened on this side. Now both of those margins are justified. So a lot of times you're, you use your uh, justification icons. And then we can also use these guys over here to move everything over to the right or to the left. You can use this icon to control your um, the indents of not just the uh, of not just the uh, first line, but of all the other lines. There you go. Now everything is back in order. I'm going to move the whole thing over with this bottom icon. All right. So that gives you some ideas of how to format your paragraphs.